We're scared. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Danelle with Danelle's Tree here. And as you guys can see, I got Tammy from the Siberian Wind with me today. So it is going to be a fun show because we're always goofy together. <laughs> Like our, our, our inner children like to play together. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so before I get started by saying hello to everybody in the chat, as well as telling you what I'm going to work on, I'll let Tammy introduce herself and talk about her channel and what she's going to work on today. Ooh, I get to talk about myself? You do, you do. Oh, darn. Just not the entire hour, okay? <laughs> You got to share oh, some with, with a host. <laughs> now you have to specify. That's not fair. Okay. So, yeah, I'm Tammy. I'm the Siberian Wind. I have a YouTube channel. I just started in January. Um, I like to quilt. I can sew anything from a wedding dress to a three-piece suit. I can do any kind of garment, whatever. Um, it does not matter. I can do it all. Uh, I don't like to do swimwear, so don't ask. <laughs> yeah, nope, nope, not doing swimwear. And, uh, and or uh, gymnastics attire, all that stretchy stuff, not going to touch it. I just, I don't enjoy it. Um, but I chose quilting. Uh, I started quilting when my son was little. And I kind of swapped everything over to quilting because there is no way you cannot make that quilt lay flat. Like you can do it one way or the other. You might have to rip out a little bit. You might have to add some extra stitches. You might have to add a gallon of starch. <laughs> you know, there is always a way to make a quilt lay flat. And I can do, cur I'll do curved seams. I love to teach. Uh, I don't, you know, teach everything, but I absolutely do not mind the questions. So Anytime you hit me up in my lives, ask me a question. I will stop everything and answer, and I will get distracted by the next comment, and then I will come back and finish answering. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, uh, I I love to quilt, love it. So yeah, that's 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 my world. <laughs> oh, too funny. So, um. We're going to start off with saying hello to everybody, just so that we're there. Yes. I can get that out of the way, and and hopefully I don't miss anybody if I do. Sorry. So first off, we have Ricky Rumsey, Denise Sopatch. Um, guess who? Nancy, Mary G, Mona did what? Uh, let's see here. Everybody's having a conversation amongst themselves, which is a fabulous thing. Marie Scrappy Creations, hey. And Brandy from 100 Proof Quilter, Joydy. Uh, Mary so G is also here. Huh? Mary G is also here. Oh, yep. Mary G. Sorry, I thought I said your name. I'm so sorry, love. I didn't hear it. Um, that's, that's Amy me. <laughs> Cement, Ooh, Loretta hi. Blevins. Hello. And I'm sure many, many, many more. <laughs> At least in my head, there's many, 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 many more. <laughs> oh, we're, we're we'll about to. Well, I'll imagine it with you. Oh, we're right. sitting at a thousand. We're sitting at a thousand viewers. <laughs> yes, I like your idea. <laughs> so, if you guys have a channel, I'll let you know right now. If you have a channel, you can do exclamation selfie. That's S is in Sam, E L F is in Frank, I E. And that'll drop your channel link so that way there, if anybody wants to subscribe and all, then they can. Hi, Brenda Foley. Thank you for coming in. And before I get started on anything else, my live stream this past Wednesday for my birthday, I was going to do a giveaway for any of my replay watchers. And all you had to do is follow the directions in the description box below of that chat of that and everything that I posted there right after my live stream, which was to email me your favorite color, your name and your address, it would go into a raffle. And then I would, which you had until last night at midnight to, to enter into. And then I was going to do the drawing today. 
Well, I only had one one uh, person that did that of email me. And so the winner is Loretta Blevins. <gasps> you get this gorgeous songbook charm pack, a beautiful, gorgeous spring color fabric, and this mug rug that I made that, of course, has no me's in the middle. And yes, it's Valentine's Day fabric, but that's okay because it also just means love. So this will be going out to you today. The other giveaways from this past Wednesday, as well as a few other packages, will all begin shipped out today. I've already printed out the shipping labels and everything. I just had to get them all packaged up and dropped off. Loretta that will is be going out today. Loretta is racking it in. She's the one that won my uh, the, the wall plaque. For my oh, 250 awesome. or 250 subscribers, yep. <laughs> Let's see here. Congratulations, and Loretta. And making sure they haven't missed anybody. Hey, Nellie, how are you doing, love? It looks like everybody's saying hi to each other and congratulating Loretta. Mm -hmm. Not for sure if Loretta's in here, but um, if not, she'll thought... see the email, so... Uh, she was here earlier. Uh, she's okay. a great group today. So she was here. Uh, so she probably is still here. Hey, Andrea, Andrea just dropped in. Yay. Oh, there's Loretta. Awesome. Awesome. Sauce, Loretta. I am so, I'm so happy that you love my channel. Thank you. No worries, oh, Marie. Marie. She says she'll be sewing. She's sewing, and I'll be listening. But if I miss a comment, I apologize. Mary G says I only got to go. I only got to watch part of your B day video. It was a retreat long enough to wish you happy birthday? No worries, Mary. It was not a requirement. It's just if anyone wanted to enter, I was doing a little something special for my replay watchers. I will periodically be doing this. So. Ooh. Yeah, so it's going to be a new thing I want to start doing and everything. As every so often, out of the blue, I'm just going to, during a live stream or during one of my recorded videos even, I'm just going to make a comment in there that to check out the description box below that video. After the live stream or after the, or when you're watching that video, so that way there you can enter into a contest. Yes. Hit the phone too. Show that you love me. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. Yes, we've got to show Donna love. We've got to show her love. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Show me that you love my content. So that way there, I'll keep posting it. <laughs> I'll keep posting mine whether or not people do it. Yeah, I was telling my husband yesterday. He's like, what are you ever going to do if you ever try and start your channel starts going downhill. I'm like, well, as long as I still have my family watching, I'll keep posting it. I'm like, I love doing it. I don't care if it, nobody watches. I'll still keep posting. I bet you somebody somewhere down the line is going to cross my cross and watch it. I'm like, That's I true. love being on the camera doing this. I never wanted to be in front of a camera. Now I'm addicted. <laughs> Andrea said she's trying to finish her, finish her pinwheel quilt today so she can start on Fallon's quilt. So she's going to have to finish Fallon's quilt so she can start my quilts after. Right. <laughs> Andrea, all I got to say, love, is you better make sure you keep that Nelly sewing, singer sewing machine all oiled and ready to go. <laughs> well, remember, she got that other one. She got the yeah. new one. She won. Yeah. One. Well, she's planning on using her the one she got from me. Well, that's right. She's named Nelly for her piecing, and then the other one she's using for other stuff. That's right. That's right. I do remember By that. By the way, there she doesn't overwork one more than the other. Good morning, Junebug. Yes. Thank you for coming in, hanging out. Uh, Debbie. So Debbie said that she has to go. She's got a busy weekend and better get at it. Not a problem. Thank you for coming in here. Let's see. Hi, Hi Beverly. Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jinx, you owe me a soda, but I already have one right now. <laughs> well, I got a coffee. <laughs> mm, I gotta have, gotta have, gotta have the uh, bubbly and fizzy. But see, that's me later on if I have pop. I have not actually had soda, pop, coke, whatever you want to call it, depending upon where you're at. <laughs> I have not actually had any of that in like months. And I used to be a 
Mountain Dew or Diet Mountain Dew all day, every day. Like I would go to sleep with a 20 ounce sitting beside me. So the moment I woke up and raised up out of bed, I could try and take automatically take a quick swig of the Mountain Dew, whether it was warm or not. Didn't care. <laughs> that was how bad I was. I had to force myself to get off of it for now. Wait a It is not your turn. <laughs> So now I only have one cup of coffee in the morning. Grant is a very large cup, but I have one cup in the morning. Get me going. And then I have water the rest of the day. Uh, let's yes, see. Andre good morning, uh, Teresa. Good morning to yes. you. Yes, good morning. Andrea says, Nellie is for casing and Ellie is for using um, my vintage brace frame. Okay, I knew that Ellie was used for something else, but I cannot remember what it was. Yeah, I figured, I thought it was the frame, so yeah. Uh, Marie said that she was a Mountain Dew addict, too. I have never been a Mountain Dew person. Um, I will date myself a little bit here, and when I was a teenager, young teen, I uh, went to Six Flags, and I had never been a Mountain Dew type person ever before then. We were at Six Flags, and you can buy the really, really tall drink containers. I'm sorry, my iron is making noise. Um, <laughs> the really, really tall drink containers that like look like a barbell or something, and they last you insanely long. So I bought one of those, and then you get discounted refills. And all the other kids my age were drinking Volt, and I'd never had Volt before. I uh, don't think Volt still exists. It's like Mountain Dew on Red Bull. It's like steroid version of Mountain Dew. I drank that. I drank the entire thing of it. And then I went back and got a refill. And I finished that. And to say that I've never felt my heart beat so fast. I am not joking. It was It was insane. Not ever doing that again. Uh, but I do, I do drink drinks where I can put a lid, screw a lid back on when I'm in my studio. <laughs> I am way too klutzy to have coffee or tea or anything in a cup in my studio because it will get knocked over and yeah, my, my babies are too expensive. Is the gets, my coffee <laughs> cup is the only thing that gets a stay in here that is open. Other than that, it's always like my my tall metal tumbler with a lid and a straw for water See, but even with my coffee it's always way out of my way and it and somewhere if it gets knocked over it's not gonna hurt anything yeah and i just me taking a wet soapy rag to clean up so let I me address a few things um charlotte good morning she says hi mona i got my stickers thank you vicky says tammy do you live here in michigan also mm -mm. I'm in Casper, Wyoming. I moved here from Alabama. And then Amy, I seen your question, girl. That's the reason why I started giggling. She says, Danelle Stitchery, does your mug say my husband knows everything? It says, I don't need Google. My husband knows everything. <laughs> my son, my about to be 25 year old son got this for me before COVID and everything. And it became my favorite mug ever. I will only drink my coffee out of this mug. Is but my favorite so much that I even chipped it because it slipped out my hand while washing it. And then I actually, technically, this is the second one. The first one he bought me, which was identical to this, I broke while washing it. It fell oh, on my no. hand. I think it just shattered. Just hit, oh. hit it just the right way. I paid. I felt so horrible. I went on to Amazon because he got it from me for big lots. So, you know, it's cheaper than what I paid from Amazon. Oh, yeah. Amazon, I paid $25 for my replacement cup because I felt so bad and I had to replace it. <laughs> oh, I've got so, some favorites. Uh, my, my favorite mug is one that I picked up at a craft show um, and was handmade by the person selling. That's my favorite one. Um, my funniest one is my stepdaughter bought me I smile because you're my stepmother. I laugh because you married my dad. Uh, and it is it is so appropriate, especially for her. It was so funny that she got me that. Oh. 
We're in the fan and book of you guys. I don't like I don't like or drink coffee or tea. So Mountain Dew is my caffeine source. My husband used to say my blood must be green because I drink so much of it. See, <laughs> there is a little joke between me and my stepfather. Um, because he likes to have his adult beverages in the evenings. And anytime he has to go get blood or do a blood draw for the doctor's office, I always tell him, like, okay, dad. Make sure you try our nice and full and everything and all so that way there they don't deplenish your supply before you get home. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, it's like a like, oh my gosh, dad. Come on now. <laughs> but hey, he's a good follow. I love him. And he, treats my mama good. and he treats my mama good, so that's all that matters. So Teresa says I only like coffee with mocha or hot chocolate taste. Girl, I I keep hearing people tell me about this, and I keep wanting to try. And I only remember after my coffee is gone. <laughs> <laughs> like I need to make myself a post-it note and put it right there on my coffee maker so, to remind me in the morning to add a hot cocoa to it so I can try it because I love mocha. Just put a post-it note in your mug because you'll look in your mug and remove it. Or you'll regret it and have to make another one. And then you'll do it on the second cup. <laughs> See, I would put it in my mug, but I'm scared that the note might not even be seen before I get the coffee poured. <laughs> and then I got a post-it note floating around instead of my coffee mug. <laughs> do you have any of the um, tea diffuser thingies that um, you can use for loose leaf tea? Because um, you could set that. I'll have to look. That or a spoon, you could take the note to a spoon and put it in your mug. So you're more likely to see that. That is true. <laughs> so you're not or drinking could, paper and adhesive. <laughs> or I could put the post-it note on the spoon handle and then put the spoon mm -hmm. into my cup. Yeah, that I might always work. put my cup out in the morning with it upside down. And then I set the spoon right there by it all on the paper towel ready to go in the morning. So all oh, I'll gotcha. do is hit the button and then pour it. <laughs> I'm looking at some of these other mixes. I'm not a coffee drinker, but even these are looking good. <laughs> and Mitzi, I cannot remember if I had said hello to you, but good morning. Good morning, Mitzi. <laughs> Amy says, oh, you're a poor kidneys and heart rate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> my my kidneys probably uh, died a few centimeters that day. Hey, Liana. I'm not sure if they've ever recovered. <laughs> oh, Liana's here. Yay. She said, hello, I'll be warned. The trolls are out saying inappropriate things. I'll be long arming while listening oh, no. to you all. Yeah, I may, I keep it on mine to where you got to be a member for at least 30 minutes before you can even comment on my channel. And that I've got so far that has been working. If it gets to the point where it's not working, then I'll increase the time. My, my is set really for, do, but to, to keep the spammers down. And mine set for five minutes. And that's working still. Yeah, I I was starting to get some, a few here and there coming in, and I had to tone it, uh, bring it up some. So, good gotcha. morning, Deb S, the Pug Mama Quilter. Good morning, Melanie. Can't remember if I said hello to you, not yet, Beverly, but good morning. <laughs> Beverly yes. says to know I'm always here, but I don't write much. So if you need anything, I'm just I'm here just as because I'm here. <laughs> no worries, love. Let's see. Well, that is dangerous. I was thirsty and picked a blue can of whatever it was. And after I drank a quarter of it, I thought, wow, what is this? And stopped and read and tossed it. It tastes so good, too. Ooh. Melanie said she's from Mississippi. Good morning, Ooh. Maritza Yarns and Crafts. Hey, Good morning, Lori Colgan. Yes, Lori. I'm Good trying morning. to keep up with the chat, but I'm having trouble. You're Good good. Morning, I'm Jesse back Klein. To you. Like just skimming right now, trying to make sure I got everybody. Teresa says, just wondering, is there going to be an unveiling, hiding something behind you, Danelle? <laughs> I'm hiding my mask. <laughs> so there was a bit, there was a big giggle and everything between me and Tammy earlier. I'll show y'all because 
nobody's perfect. Everybody has their own mess that they're hiding. This is actually a flannel backing that is technically a design wall fabric that I bought off of Amazon a long time ago. And I have folded it in half and hung it across my board here, across my workbench. So that way there, it hides my mess until I can get around to cleaning it completely. But, ta da! <laughs> <laughs> oh. For video purposes, it makes it look nicer. <laughs> See, that's why I did need somewhere to hang my blogs up at whenever I'm working on them. See, that's why I did all this. It was a lot of work. And then these are the, these photo frames are actually hiding bins. Actually, this one's not level. No, this one's not level. Let's see, I can adjust it. There we go. Yeah, I got the, I got bins behind those photo frames. <laughs> they were pretty, Let's but they were see, still scrappy. Yeah. Lori, thank you so much. She says, happy belated birthday, Danelle. Yes, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Everybody talking about the cocoa and the coffee. Good morning, <laughs> Jane Moore. How are you doing? She says, my sister always gets me cards that say, I'm smiling because you're my sister. I am laughing because that is not a thing you can do about it. <laughs> I would totally Good. send those to my brother. <laughs> Good morning, Shelly Stowe's. Andrea says, my favorite mug says, the best part of my morning coffee is the people I share it with. I am making a pin cushion out of it. Awesome. Oh, that's a cute idea. Uh, let's see. Good morning, Teresa West. Um, Melanie, what part of Alabama did I live? I have lived in a lot of different sections of Alabama. I lived in Birmingham growing up. I uh, lived in the Huntsville area for a decade, and then I lived lived in Montgomery, and I've lived between Montgomery and Birmingham. Uh, so those are the main areas, but I've been all over the state. But those are my my living areas. <laughs> I still have family in Alabama. So Amy Amy says, Danelle Sidri, I thought you were excavating last night. I was. <laughs> she was. I've gotten this far as getting nice and neatly organized right here and up here. <laughs> all of this is all piled up all to about here and about to here on my table yesterday. Because <laughs> all the there. packages of all the blocks, the backing, the batting, all for the charity quotes have all been shipped to me and everything. And I haven't been in here all week long other than my live stream for my birthday. I haven't done any sewing all week other than hand sewing on the couch. So everything's just been tossed in here and nothing was dealt with. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in the I walked in here at work yesterday. I'm like, oh my God, and I got a live stream in the morning. I can't even find my space. <laughs> I mean, my screen um, dean of a son had trouble getting over to my fish tank to turn the lights off. <laughs> oh dang. <laughs> Yeah, he goes, Mom, you got to do something. <laughs> um, Mel Melanie Taylor commented uh, that she's from the Gulf Coast, Biloxi. I actually lived in Biloxi for about a year as well. Um, that's the area where my stepdaughter lives. You know, she lives within an hour of Biloxi. So I lived about half a mile from the beach. Uh, it was good and bad at the same time. I will never live there again. <laughs> But I know the area you're talking about because I live there. Yeah, Vicky, my workbench is actually a tool workbench from um, Harbor Freight. Ooh. I was with my husband went on one of his shopping things, and I love walking around there and seeing what I can incorporate into my sewing room, especially anytime I can get a power tool. <laughs> it's a tomboy in me. I love power tools and just getting dirty and being guyish at times i love it but anyway so this is actually a workbench that i got from there and i love it because it has the pegboard on the backing of it so that way there i can hang oh. all my rulers my rotary color everything up out there on it once i have it i'll take a picture and post it on my channel today yeah of the status of it right now and because throughout this weekend i'm going to be working on getting my room cleaned up and organized so i can get back to working and creating and being happy <laughs> and but that's gonna be my first priority right there is my workbench. 
And once I get it done, I'll take a picture then and post it again, uh, the after for you guys. So All right. I apologize so if you guys are pictures, though. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize if you guys are hearing my iron. It's it's making a lot of noise today. It's um, actually just coming through is just a slight little bit of crackly, but not real bad or anything. So gotcha. at least not Yay. Yay. Good morning, uh, Lorraine Young. Thank you for coming in. Hi, Lorraine. It's like it computer abilities. She won a prize on my channel after telling my computer to that? pick her. You had another person that won like that? Okay, that's it. I'm going to start telling your bot to pick me. I don't normally answer your giveaways and all just because of the fact that I'm a channel content creator and I would like the normal subscribers to be able to win. But I might have to try this method because that's the second time now, Marie. <laughs> we ought to join forces and both of us, you know, vie to see which one the computer likes better. <laughs> then, we can, then we can fight over uh, who her computer likes better. Uh, Melanie says that she is from, or, or hang on, hang on. Um, it was Andrea. She was born in Biloxi and she's an Air Force brat. Yeah, I, I'm i good oh, with awesome. the year I, I spent not, there. Uh, Andrea, I did not know that you were Air Force brat. That's cool. I did know that. Um, or I knew she was a, a military brat, didn't know Air Force specifically. Aww, and then Amy. Thank you. Just for the health of it, Lynn says, late to the game, but love the new hair, Janelle. Thank you, thank you, yes. thank you. It looks good. Yes. Looks it was good. actually down here to my tailbone. And one of my favorite best friends in the whole wide world came over and on my birthday after my live stream and cut my hair for me. She goes, okay. She goes, how, how much do you want to take an off or what do you want to do? And... As the icon pulled up a picture, I'm like, I want this. She goes, you want to go that short? Yes. I'm like, I'm, so, I'm like, I am so sick of dealing with this. I'm like, and because it was so long and so unmanageable, it was horrible to try. I had to wash and condition every day with in a bathtub because I love soaking in my hot bathtub. I know most people don't like hot bathtubs, but I love it. It relaxes my back <laughs> muscles after a long day, but especially ever since I injured my back in 2021. So it just, it helps out my back and hips a lot. However, taking care of the extremely long hair and everything else was just like the pain in the tushy, literally. That I was like, just chop it. I'm like, chop it and put long layers. You 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 cut yours to about where mine is. <laughs> mine is finally growing out. <laughs> yeah, and I and I love the fact that I got like the little wings right here. <laughs> I, keep, I keep playing. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I need to have mine trimmed to get it shaped again. But that that I I tend to have like a taper at the front of mine. It works so well for me. Yes, yeah. Jean Moore, you were the other one that did it. That was hilarious. She yes, I told Marie's computer in my comment to pick me for the giveaway, and it did so freaking funny. It was. That was hilarious. <laughs> I was at, I was working when the, Marie announced it, and I literally died out laughing. I was so happy. I was so happy. I was on a phone call, a work phone call when when she said that. Because it would have been bad me trying to give someone an insurance uh, denial over the phone and then I start laughing. That would have been bad. <laughs> they were like, this lady just literally just cracked over the phone. <laughs> oh, Melanie says that she's an army brat married to a Navy veteran. I'm, um, I'm not a mom. I don't, I think there's like one male member of my entire family that has not been in the military. And then I married a Marine. When you marry a Marine, it is a whole different ballpark. <laughs> oh, Lynn, I'm so sorry about that. She says she had super long hair, then was diagnosed with cancer, donated all of her hair right before chemo started. I am so sorry, Aww. love. Big hugs. Yes, big hugs, definitely. It is so hard to go through any kind of health problems like that. Uh, so when I cut my hair short, it became curly. Yeah, mine has like a little bit of a curl to it. I mean, I just um, wet it a little bit this morning. You can see a little bit of a curl to it, a little waviness. 
my mother has natural curly hair and I inherited that when I was a baby. But then before I got, like, as I started getting a little bit longer hair, my brother's grandmother, because we had different fathers, my, gra- my brother's grandmother would braid my hair on a regular basis and mom said the bed kick on my curls. Oh, goodness. Yeah. So I lost the curls, but I got back at the waving. So I love it anyway. So <laughs> it is what it is. Can't change the past. Just got to move forward. My hair um, wasn't super curly, um, but when I got pregnant, the hormones and all of that, uh, it definitely changed my hair. And then post, like once my hormones settled back down, my hair went a lot straighter. Um, I do have to straighten it, but it's not super bad. But straightening it means I can brush it so much easier. So it's easier for me to manage. Cool, cool. And so Marie says she had to take off, but everybody have a great okay. day. She's got to get her room ready. Right. Because I think she's doing a sew on chat tomorrow, trying to get back into the groove. Ooh. Yay. Andrea says, my hair grows so fast. It was down to my knees two years ago. I cut it really, really short boy cut because I was tired of it. My husband threw a fit, so I'm going it back. It is to my waist again now. Yeah, I'm not going down to my knees with my hair. My <laughs> tailbone was like my breaking point. Quasar! Sorry, guys, for yelling. <laughs> I do not know how long I'm going to let my hair get. Um, when I was growing up, my hair was, like, my, my parents would not let me cut it. I did not get it cut for the first time until I was in fifth grade. And we went from however long I could sit on it to just below shoulder level. And my hair went oof. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I was not I, used to I, that. I, yeah, I learned, like, if I do, like, this level here, it's good. If I do shoulder length, then I get, like, all poofy and I look, like, no, not cute. <laughs> but as long as I keep it, like, around, like, the uh, chest right here range then it's good yeah i'm like i don't this know what is... to call this lens <laughs> <laughs> medium long <laughs> all right Medi- we'll medium that. length medium length whatever <laughs> hey Terry, my thank you so much and i got your package i don't know if i told you or not but i did get it and i'm actually going to start showing the blog here in a few minutes of the ones i received yes. recently so Yes, please show those. Because I haven't opened up half of them, and I want to see what they are. So they were there. I can start playing with it and putting them all together. And I haven't. I got a whole stack here that I showed off before. Okay. But then, so we got this here and this bundle here. It all came from Eva. So we got oh, this. Oh, that's I think so it's cute. Super cute fabric. That's and the little thing says, there's your price toys on it. Oh, I really want to know what that what those little symbols means. It, it says FP Fisher Price Toys. That's hilarious. I love it. And then we have some frozen. Aww. And of course, I gotta hide this from my son so he doesn't yeah. steal it. <laughs> you have to hide it from me too. I'm a I love my miracle Christmas. Oh, well then. Have you been watching my uh, my blog tutorials that I've been doing? You know, I've had to not watch it so I don't get jealous of the fabric and want to go buy more fabric of my own. It's so, I'm, no. I'm doing it all in Nightmare Before Christmas, Jeff Skellington. Uh, no. I actually made a baby announcement for someone in Jack Skellington because she is a huge fan. Oh, and before I go any further, just let everybody know, please don't send me any more backing or batting because my room is overflowing with it now because I have such a huge amount of backing and batting that has been to me. Um, If you want to send more blocks, that's good, but please no more backing or batting. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing, but oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> so here is this one here. Another piece of frozen. Aww, Olaf. I love Olaf. I have a stuffed Olaf somewhere. I'm like, I cannot remember what his name was, so thank you. Yep, Olaf. Yes. And then this yep, here, I oh my Olaf. gosh. I so, I so want to keep this one, but I can't. 
dinosaurs. Oh, dinosaurs. Yep. I love well, dinosaurs. I'm so excited to have that one. I love dinosaurs. Yeah, Brontosaurus, Ankylosaurus. Uh, you, you know more of them than I do. The spinal one, I cannot remember. Spinosaurus or something like that. I cannot remember. My son would correct me and get after me if I don't say it right. And I know I'm not saying it right. Um, and then there's a few others, but I cannot remember their official names for them. But then we got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ooh, that's a throwback. And then we have some Iowa football. Ooh, okay. And then we have some football Huskers. I'm not really for sure where that one's from. Uh, Nebraska Huskers. Nebraska, please. thank you. I'm not a sports person, so. <laughs> My husband is. <laughs> hey, Michelle's Crafts. Thank you for coming in. And yes, yes. Lynn, she said that it's collarbone left. Thank uh, you. Carrie's asking, do you need more? Carrie, are you asking if she needs more blocks? But she says she does not need any more batting or backing. All do you right, need so more blocks, Donna? Mine will be going out to you this coming week along with some flannel. No problem. Yeah, flannel I love using and everything for the backing for kids' quilts because it just gives an extra little hog and warmth and, like, comfort. But I did have someone that sent me a bunch of flannel. See, I have been disease-free for a few years now, so keeping fingers crossed, chemo did its job. Yes, I would keep you yeah. in my prayers, love. Finger, That's fingers what my crossed for you as well. My life post-cancer, moving to the country and growing my own food. I'll definitely have to check out your channel. I am a subscriber of it. I just not actually had the chance to watch it, but I do intend to. So then we got this yes. super cute fun. Aww. Aww. I love that. And then Batman. <laughs> oh. So we have those. And good then, color um, matching on that yellow. <laughs> and then from So What To Be, we have the cute little Tiki Ducks. I love the different colored snowballs on that. Me too. She did all of her blocks like that. And then we have some more Aww. Tiki And then another one just like that one. <laughs> And then we got some stars and polka dots. Ooh, I like the, that one. Let's see. They're definitely bright and cheerful. And then, do, 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 do. Okay, cool beans. I don't think I missed it. You know, I had 20 Great, blocks. To you. Thank you, Vicky. I, I agree, Melanie. They are adorable. Mm -hmm. Absolutely adorable. They're so and bright. And she also included a postcard. So, so would to be. She's in Canada. And she actually sent me all these from Canada. Oh, she, cool. uh She included a postcard that would be for Harper. It says, Dear Harper, you wishing you all the best. You are an amazing young lady. Hugs and kisses. Sending love and prayers from So would to be. Aww. So That's when awesome. I send out this quilt and everything and all these quilts and all, that would be included in there. Or I might just send that straight to Donna so that way there Donna can get it to Harper yeah. specifically. Yeah, we want to make sure she gets it and doesn't uh yeah, it doesn't all the other ones are gonna be getting happen to, get lost. to other people. So yeah. And then from another subscriber, Denise. Uh, it says, here are two blocks for the quilt. The bees were done according to the directions. The seashells are done with my AccuQuilt die. The third block was also done with a die. Maybe use this as a label. And do, 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 do. And then she gave her signature and, and all. So here's the honeybees. You love them, honeybees. Those are and as a beekeeper, I love the honeybees. <laughs> and then we got some adorable seashells. Oh, and that was done with her AccuQuilt, she said? Yeah, the seashells were done with her AccuQuilt, I believe. Yes, okay. the seashells were done with her AccuQuilt. And then here's it reversed. Okay, yeah. Oh, and that's a smart option, too, when you do the AccuQuilt cutting. 
you get you can do the the regular and the inverse. Definitely. So you get two blocks for the price of one. And I actually have a time. I'm actually keeping track of who all sends me what because I'm gonna send each and every one of you guys a big huge thank you of a card in the mail. So that way there I can show my appreciation. Right. And then uh, Text, I yeah. already kind of showed you guys. Yeah. Lynn from Just for the Health of It. I uh, was asking if you keep these, but real quick, Amy said she's got to run. She's got to finish prepping for filming. Too many things on the calendar this weekend. Bye, oh, Amy. Wait, Amy. Good I to have you here. Understand. Have a good one, hon. And Lynn, yes, I am a beekeeper. I have currently one honey, one honey beehive in my backyard behind my garage. And we did have four at around the fall of last year, but two of them unfortunately met their demise by wasps that had overpowered their hives and we were not able to stop it and, and everything in time. So we lost two of the hives. One didn't make it through the winter. And then the fourth one, which was our strongest one, that one made it through the winter. This is actually our third year of having beehives and this is our very first year ever of getting a beehive through the entire Michigan winter which oh. was a huge accomplishment for us yeah that's in, that's incredible yeah because it's actually strong enough where within the next couple of weeks we're going to be splitting it into two hives to keep Ooh. to keep them from swarming and then we're going to get um a couple of new uh they ca they're called nukes, but they're like half of a hive, like 10,000 bees and a queen from our uh, bee guy down by the airport. So that way there we can be able to get two more hives um, going so we can be back up to four hives and hopefully by fall have four really good strong hives. Okay, that's a smart plan. Yep. So here is the last bundle and this hidden here, this bundle here is from Terry. So we have this oh, little precious. Fabric. I know I love these little fabrics. They look so it looks like vintage fabric. They do. Well, they might be, but they're gorgeous. Yeah. I know Terry was in the chat earlier. So if it is, she would have to let me know. Oh. And I got it upside down. No, yeah. no baby tigers on the head. <laughs> <laughs> And some little gators. Oh, I love how everybody this is great. And then we got some polka dots. Got some good polka dots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And some fifties. And I actually already have a couple of fish gloves, so this would be perfect to go with those. That'd become an I spy quilt. Yeah, Very well, that's a adorable. lot of what I'm doing is scrappy I spy quilts. Okay. Right, the first one I did last week was more of like something that was matchy matchy. Okay. But a lot of these are just going to be I spy quilts. Ooh. Pretty pink flowers. Just trying to match up like the color scheme as much as I possibly can to each other. Yeah. Hi, sir. Thank you. She said happy belated birthday, Janelle. Hey, Tammy, missed the start, but I bet I missed so much. Can you tell me what you're what you're collecting the box for? So we are the renegades over at In Quilt Fat are putting together. Um, I'm planning on doing about 10 um crib place quilts and then anything more than that a couple others in the in quilt fact group will be putting them together but we're going to be making up a bunch of um quilts for kids crib size about 42 by 42 round about there not exact but around there and then i am going to once i get them all put together quilted or sandwich quilted bound everything I'm going to be shipping it over to Handmade by Ying with Donna, and she's going to take them up to the Ronald McDonald House in Pittsburgh to donate to them for charity clothes and everything in the name of Harper Strong, because they did such an amazing job of taking care of her granddaughter that we want to do something to give back. But here's that one. Awesome. Terry, and they're all, 
And if anybody wants to donate blocks, you can. They are six and a half inches um, unfinished. So this right here will be six and a half inches. And then these little corner pieces are two and a half inches for anybody that wants to donate. Hi, Do Giovanna. Any, please no more backing or batting though, because I get an overflowing amount of that. Um, Terry said that she has had that fabric for a long time. She doesn't know the origin. So I think you put it to good use, Terry. It was, that was gorgeous. Oh, definitely. It is so beautiful, Terry. All of the blocks <laughs> I have received are so gorgeous and so super cute. And I'm just so excited about playing with them and getting the, I, I love the fact that I get to say, receive the packages in the mail, first of all, because it's like Christmas on a daily basis. <laughs> and the funny story is, had all these packages coming in, after the first week, my husband go, my husband said, go, son go, how much money are you seriously spending on all those packages? <laughs> I'm like, not a dime. I'm like, these are all stuff people are sending me to do. And I'm Giovanna like, said that she's here now and she said she's sorry she's late. Uh, or, the, or she said, I'm super late. You're not super late, Giovanna. You're just in time because you're going to catch my light after this. <laughs> So, Vicki, for that specific bee fabric, I don't know, but you can't, but Joanne Fabrics does carry a lot of super cute, yeah. uh, whether it be an elegant or just fun and playful uh, honey bee fabric, and they always have it in stock. So, you can check on their web, on their uh, app or their website, and they even have it shipped right to you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Not in a while. I haven't ordered for shipping to me. I have I other people ordering ship to me. Because Joanne <laughs> is so close to me, I don't normally try and do the shipping part unless it's something that's special to that I really have to have and they just don't have it in store, but they have it yeah. in our house. I'll have it shipped. But normally I only I'll play it's like like if it's something I know that I need and I'm working, then I will place an order and for curbside pickup and it's ready for me to pick up by the time I get off work the same day. Uh, I my near anything extra for it. They even run it right out to your car too. I don't even got to get out of the car, which saves me a lot of money. Because <laughs> you don't go in and browse. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I my closest Joanne's is two and a half hours away, um, but the closest Joanne's is also a very small location, so they frequently are out of stock on things. Uh, so yeah, it's <laughs> ordering morning, and shipping Christy. might be my option. Yes, good, good morning, morning Giovanna. She said she got two. She got. She goes. I got your notification. That is how I saw that you were live. That you two were hey. live. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Katie Greenland Quilter says good morning, <gasps> Danelle, Sidri, and Tammy. Yeah. Mitzi says bee fabric is popular this year. Yeah, it was popular last year too, Mitzi. I love it. I have a whole collection. I'm actually working on a double wedding ring quilt for me and my husband um let's see here and of course it's the bottom box <laughs> Oops, sorry sorry mommy didn't mean to bump your cage so so far i have one block completed and then there's going to be a panel that goes into the center of it oh cool let's see if i can't get it in frame properly there we go but then if I bring oh. it up close. Oh, it's bees. Oh, my goodness. And I'm not crazy about yellow, but I love the golden yellow. That's yeah. In this here. That and plus, that's easier to handle. Then plus mine and my husband's wedding colors were yellow and black. So. Ooh. It was destiny. Yeah, because we actually belonged. When we got married, we belonged to a motorcycle club that, and our club colors was yellow and black. And the club was really heavy in our lives, which okay. was all before COVID. But since COVID, we really haven't done much. We both became very much of a homebody. <laughs> I think a lot of people did. Uh, yeah, Mitzi says like, that she likes point. my shirt. <laughs> so I got to help. I'm a sociopath on the road to recovery. Just kidding. I'm on my way to buy more fabric. <laughs> that is my definitely me. My husband finds me my quilting shirts. I don't have to go looking for any of them because I would buy entirely too many probably. 
but I am horrible about clothes shopping. So my husband finds my quilting shirts and buys them and surprises me with them. <laughs> I mean, I've got help me twirled. Yeah. Hi, Ra. Ross. Hi. <laughs> I can't talk. He says, hey, everyone, popping in for a few seconds. Hope we're all having an awesome day. We are. We are. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Beverly is headed out. She said, bye, Donnell, Kami, and everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye, Beverly. Good to have you here. Ooh, I'm on my last one. Oh, I like Mitchie's explanation. She says, oh, that is nice. Good wedding quilt. The purpose is to protect the queen. There you go. And I'm definitely the queen of the house. Uh, Meredith uh, is asking if the snowball corners are a specific color. No. Nope. It's just fun, cute, playful, bright, happy. Whatever you want them to be. They could be soft colors. They could be happy colors. They could be bright colors. They could be fun. They could be themed. Whatever you want. It, there's no rule. The only rule is it's a six and a half inch block with two and a half inch quarters. Corners, not quarters. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, what was that face for, young lady? I am moving my iron away from being in front of me to being over here for my life. In a little bit, oh. because and I'm going to be working on my cotton cuts. Uh, 9.15 my time, so 8 plus 15, uh, 27 minutes. Yeah, 27 minutes. <laughs> okay. So, you know, and I can, if I need to shift it, I'll shift it some. But what I was working on this morning, so I was sewing those sashing strips onto Prismatic Star yesterday. So now all of my sashing strips are sewn on so all the way around and pressed. Uh, now I'll just have to go in and trim like all these extra pieces off. So that's the one, that's one color that is in there or one diamond that's in there. Um, here is another one. And this one is reversible in the quilt. So it'll be both ways. Just depending oh, awesome. on where in the quilt it is. And then there's one more. There's only three different diamonds in here. It's not, it's not super complicated. And here is the other one. And this one is also one way. So it will always be where this is towards the center. I had to but, say, I think the one with the blues and purples is my favorite. Yeah, I I don't disagree with you. Um, the purples kind of like in certain light they just kind of fade into one but uh -huh. yeah when when you can pick up the two colors they they really do they really shine <laughs> they're my shade of purple my nails match this <laughs> my nails says, match my fabric no, i am not at all surprised that you were in a motorcycle club <laughs> <laughs> oh that's hilarious um a lot of people saying yeah. pretty Don't thank you shelly <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, Vicki. Appreciate it. Giovanna said earlier uh, she was naughty and she bought fabric. I want to Ooh. know what. <laughs> oh, naughty, naughty girl. I, I, I don't consider buying fabric to be naughty. I consider that just as much therapy as actually sewing it. Well, I made myself a roll this year. Because I have such an overabundance of fabric that I can't even get it to fit into my dresser thing here I have for nothing but fabric. That I am not buying any fabric this year unless it's for a commission quilt where I need to have a, where I need like the fabric for the commission quilt that I don't already have. Or unless I need like backing or background. Because I don't have a lot of backing or background. I have a lot of prints and a lot of things that is like the accent colors and everything. But not yeah. much for backing or background. So I'm like, other than that, I'm not buying. So me getting I'll all see. these packages and everything, just like, ooh, I should have played with fabric <laughs> that I didn't buy. <laughs> well, I have some backing or some background. 
and I don't mind piecing my backs, so that's not a big deal. Um, but all my yardage is in front of me, and then all my fat quarters are behind me, and my scraps are above and behind or behind me, but above my fat quarters. Um, so now everything is kind of on display. So I'm able to to utilize that really well. That fat quarter uh, friendly quilt that I'm going to do, I'm going to do the throw size, but I'll be releasing the side, the information for the king size. The king size would use 56 fat quarters. Uh, so it's a really big stash buster. The, um, the throw size is gonna use 24. So if you've got, you know, 24 fat quarters you want to use, especially if you will keep one kind of in its own kind of realm. Like, so if you want to use white as your background, you know, do all kinds of different tone on tone whites or, you know, white themes. Um, you know, that's a great way to use up like a whole entire color family. So mine's going to be, I'm going to be pulling from my blues, which are, ah, which way? There we go. <laughs> my blues are all <laughs> down here. <laughs> I know it's so hard to figure out and everything. It's like if you watch my yeah. video which, on which Thursday, you doing that? if you watch this week's video of my block, uh, my block from my scrap quilter block that I'm doing, I'm over here trying to point to which one I'm like, wait a minute, it's nope, the, the, it's this one over here. <laughs> I was I trying to point out position to be like right over me so that way that I could show them. Okay, I was trying to point out my VW bug earlier, and I was doing this shoulder, even though it's over here. <laughs> so, Michelle, I'll, the I'll says hello, and Tammy, I have that shirt. Ooh. Well, I don't know where my husband colors, got it, so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Melanie Taylor says, I used to ride a Har my own Harley back in the day. Not anymore. Yeah, I've always been a passenger on my husband's. I did at one point buy my own motorcycle. It was a Honda Nighthawk. And my husband attempted to teach me, even though he was a very poor teacher because he wasn't thrilled about the idea of me even doing it. So he wouldn't, he, he would kept telling me, okay, don't add no gas. I want you to learn how to be able to hold it up without going fast or anything like that. Teachers know what's attractive. Oh, yeah. So. Mine would be too. Mine does not ride, ride motorcycles. And then um, one of our very close friends fell, well, got hit on his motorcycle and lost a leg. And it freaked me out. I'm like, nope, I'm done. I'm playing passenger. <laughs> I'm like, passenger is good. <laughs> I I managed to fall off of a bicycle when I was a young teen. And that has forever scarred me. Like, I... I'm terrified and I don't have good coordination and, and all of that. Oh. Yeah, Lynn, Lynn, says, Lynn says that fabric is an acceptable addiction. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes, it is. Donnell, have yes. you ever tried to fill up your Acorn Easy Press pen and you spill stuff everywhere? No, because I don't have one. Oh, okay. Well, okay. <laughs> oh, well, my bad. <laughs> I do have like those little water pens or whatever that you can put yeah. like the, but I have not at mine. I've only used for like water and I just take okay. it to the faucet and fill it. Gotcha. I'm scared um, of not bring anything in here because I'm too, it falls back underneath to the category of I'm too clumsy. <laughs> well, I just, um, the first time I poured starch into mine, um, I like spilled it everywhere. So this time what I did is I used a pin. If you lay a, um, a pin or a straw over the top of the lid or the top of the item you're pouring from, it guides the, the liquid. I'm going to have to do cool, two cool. <laughs> Ivana says she would take photos and put them on Facebook later. Okay. I'm assuming she means Sounds the good. fabrics that she bought. Yes, yes. She is in my Facebook group. Michelle, the quilter, says she's from New York and would love to see the fabric. Vicky says, Giovanna, you can never have too much fabric. Just add to the house when you run out of room. <laughs> <laughs> and Lynn says, um, I'm running that to Danelle. I've only been quilting since November 2023 and bought some pretty fabrics, but I didn't consider needing more background type stuff. Yeah, it's always a pretty fabric I'm drawn to. 
what I've been doing is when I do need backing or background fabric, when I go to Joanne's, I'm buying like four or five yards. Yeah. No matter I, how I, much I, big or small amount I need, I buy like four or five yards of like my whites, my creams, and my blacks. Because uh, that's the main colors I use for my backgrounds. Yeah, I've got um, I've got some blue, I've got some red, but the majority of mine are the creams and neutrals and whites, and then I do have some blacks as well. I like using blacks for some because it really makes the color really pop. So if I want it to pop, then I use a black. If I want it to be toned down some, I use the white or the cream. All different yeah. depends on what the feel is. I want the the design to be that day. Yeah. Depends on my, upon my mood. <laughs> <laughs> See, Melanie says I'm moving back home this summer and have to ship all of all of it besides what will fit in the truck being driven by son in law across the country. Oh my goodness gracious. We uh we moved from Alabama up here with all of my fabric in tow. Yeah. <laughs> I had to pack it all up. Hey Jen, this, thank you for coming in. And yes, this is Tammy from the Siberian when she says good morning, Danelle and friend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, I don't mind. Just go ahead and call me friend. That's good. As long as you follow my channel later, we're good. <laughs> yes. And Tammy, if you want, go ahead and do a exclamation. Yes. Oh, actually, let me turn on Nightbot so it'll actually work. Well, I did it earlier. Open it up. I did it earlier. I think. Yeah, it's in there. Oh, awesome. So us. Yep. Yep. Because when you said, when you told everybody else that they can do it, I did it. Oh, good <laughs> I was girl. being sneaky. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> my, my pen is trying to revolt on me. Yeah. Hey, Steph. Jassy Steph and Stephanie Harris, the long arm, yes. members of a long arm quilter is here. Hi, Stephanie. Stephanie in the house. Stephanie in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, being a little goofy today. You're fine. Not really gotten any sewing done, but I did do a lot of show and tell of, of beautiful blocks that were sent and did a lot of yes, chatting. Yes, you did. <laughs> well, I will have to. Comment the fact that I want to work on these because here is a stack of blocks that I have. Look at all this, people. Like all you got some stuff to put together. I have all this I need to work on. Plus, I also have a craft show next Saturday. Oh, that reminds me. Next Saturday, I will not have a live stream. I'm going to record a video of my setup and everything and all at my at my booth. And a little bit of a quick run around at the show. But And then I'll post that. But there will not be a live stream next Saturday. Now, next Sunday, on the other hand, I'm mean, making up for it because guess who's going to be on my guest next Sunday? So I'm going to have a guest Ooh. on next Sunday, which is not my norm. Okay. So, Becca. Oh, my goodness. Yes. I'm so big geeked. time. I am so like <laughs> fangirl geeked right now. Granted, me and her are friends, but still, I'm like fangirl geek because I'm like, oh my gosh, she said yes. She said yes. <laughs> oh so the, i mean i don't even her. care if i get any oh. new subscribers from it or not and everything it's just the fact that i get to hang out with an amazing woman so i may have to i may have to drop her a line then and see if i can see if i can get her on mine on my schedule <laughs> hmm i might have to do that yeah, so I, I have a special that, person who would love that. Traditionally. Yeah, I still got right, Lynn. She said that is super exciting. Yeah, so my well, goal is to get as many of the content creators I can to come onto my channel and hang out with me. And I, I want to have a different guest on every Saturday. Okay. And that's like. I want Saturdays to be my casual hangout, have fun, no plan in mind, just do whatever and hang out with a guest and get to know everybody oh, yeah. and make new friends. And then my Sundays is for my 
uh, puzzle mystery quilt and my uh, and my Motown, which I'll be working on both tomorrow, by the way, because yeah, I got my clue three in. Well, I need to probably head out. I have a live starting in 10 minutes Ooh, or yeah, less, less than 10 minutes. <laughs> So, so anyway, I check out Tammy's video, Tammy's live stream. <laughs> hang out with her. Make sure you give her a thumbs up. And if you're not already, give me a thumbs up. Yes, absolutely. Give Donnell a thumbs up, you guys. She's doing a like fabulous job over friends, here. Tell your friends. Tell them, yo, go watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna sign off, Donnell. Uh, I will right. see you over on my channel. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody.